right. V Max and pulls out two drivers left up alongside. Now the Audi just gets a little bit of an extra run down towards the first corner and Weber has not been able to make that. He had a lift, I think, just for a moment because of that car in the pit lane. I wonder if what we're talking about for the setting change for them is, is just just a change of the balance around the left and coast for them. Just more power on that main straight. That's where they were getting eaten up, John. Let's wait and see. But Svesler now fending off the very close attention to Mark Webber. Both in traffic. Who's going to have the advantage here? Dumas has uh, lost a little bit of time there. But enough of an advantage with Webber getting alongside Svesler here. As number 99, Aston Look Martin comes into it. Traffic as they go through. Out of turn six, seven, into the 100R, and now down the hill into the tricky braking area. We've already seen Webber make a couple of mistakes here, but he's absolutely rock steady there as he goes into the Dunlop curb. And again, you can see the different colours of the tarmac. I tell you what, though, Dumas is not getting away. I reckon one more lap for Fesler before they're in the pit lane window to make it to the end on three more stops. But he's got to do at least one more lap. At that point, it doesn't matter. Basically, you're just saving the extra stop. That's the important thing for Audi here. And then a bit of rain, and dare I say it, the grey cloud has blown back. back over us. It's back. It has blown back over us. Onto the start finish line. Fesler stays out. There will be at oh. least. Oh, and very close indeed by Mark Webber as he went almost into the pit lane, hatching there and takes second place. But can Fesler hold on? Can he get somewhere near as the Porsche runs out of steam at the end of the straight? He can. He's down the inside and he gets it back. This is what we love seeing at the front of the field. Mark Webber will try the old over and under, and he gets back through the inside. This takes me back to last year when Webber was awesome. But Fesler's got the inside line in the turn number four and takes it back again. This is genius stuff by these two drivers. What respect, what skill, what excitement. This is road racing, endurance racing, and it's absolute zenith. Down to turn six, and still the... Porsche is pushing hard, the Audi has the advantage. I just think, again, Fesler played that perfectly in the turn one. Shades of Silverstone, John, these two men in these two cars with very different performance attributes, and they're both using them to the absolute max and a little bit beyond. Fantastic stuff. There might be two lights on the side of the Porsche, but he's third at the moment, and that was because of magnificent first part of that lap for Marcel Fesler. And uh, the FFSX, or whatever it was, is hybrid boost that has been turned up for the number seven car. And he is using every single mega joule of that extra energy. I think every single joule, John. Fraction of a joule, <laughs> mini joule, whatever. It is. If he's got joules in his watch, he's using those and as he, well. Is he coming in this time? No, he swings in the pit lane and here comes Weber. Now, this is exactly what happened last time. And Fesler drops immediately oh. into, and look, he's there. And he gets it back again. The Porsche is on VMAX too early down the straight and the Audi gets back position. I said in practice that the Porsche hits its top speed very quickly, but then for seven or eight seconds, it's not getting any quicker. Oh, traffic now. Oh, don't come together. Oh, the side of the Stracker, brilliant stuff. And again, Fessler just makes that split second decision. He goes one side, Weber the other. Remember, we are over two hours into a six hour race. This is not a 10 lap sprint round Fuji. This is the FIA World Endurance Championship. This is racing. Big, big twitch from Mark Weber there as he tried to get the power in maybe a little bit too early. Marcel Fesler, traffic again, he gets by. Can Weber do the same? This is nose to tell stuff in the most extraordinary fashion. Round the, round the, uh, the, uh, the Ligier goes Mark Weber. Fesler though has got a slight advantage by an Andre Lotterer suited booted ready to go I'm breathing heavily already because of what his what antics and what extreme measures are being put in place by his teammate to hold on to this second place by the way Roman Jama is not getting away he is up the road but only by three and a half seconds and this is not good enough for Porsche and I would suggest the demeanor of Timo Bernhard there and Mark Lieb would say that that is exactly what they feel as well